Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is a continuation of my previous topic which is Istio Service Mesh. So right now I'm creating a EKS cluster uh, using Terraform. So this is a, a simple Terraform uh, code what I have right now. So you can uh, use uh, Terraform or either you can also directly use uh, AWS CLI to create uh, an EKS cluster in AWS. So I'm using Terraform right now. So let's quickly create a EKS cluster. So I'm creating a, a EKS cluster in uh, AWS. So let's quickly do that. So I'm going to pause this video for a couple minutes because uh, creating an EKS cluster will take about like 15 minutes. Already our Istio demo cluster is created. So you can see this. Uh, I have logged into my AWS console. So you can see uh, Istio demo cluster is created with version 1.27. So let's quickly install Istio. So before doing that, let's uh, check the node. So if you see uh, two nodes are created and they are up and ready. Let's check uh, the pods. So it doesn't have any pods. Let's check the namespaces. So it has uh, the default namespaces. So now let's install Istio. All right, so let's install Istio now. So the Istio is getting installed. Let's give it a minute or two for the installation to complete. All right, so the Istio installation is complete. So now let's go to the pod. Let's check the pod. Get namespace. So you see uh, <coughs> Istio system namespace is created. So let's check. So you see uh, there are three pods that are created. So this is the Istio. So you have an ingress uh, gateway pod that is created and you also have a egress gateway pod that's created. So ingress gateway pod will manage the incoming traffic and the egress gateway pod. So this, so this guy, this will manage the uh, outgoing traffic. So if you see here, let me quickly open the architecture for you. <clears throat> so if you see the, uh, so if you see this, so you have an, uh, you have like two planes. Uh, one is the control plane and the data plane. And uh, you have an ingress traffic and you have an egress traffic, you have an Istio. So if you quickly observe this, so you have an Istio, which is this. Let me maximize this for you. So if you see, uh, you have like two pods, which is Istio and you have ingress gateway and you also have egress ga gateway. So if you check the architecture, so this is the ingress gateway and this is the egress gateway and this is your pod. And now uh, let's try to deploy a simple application. So now I'm deploying a simple uh, application which contains microservices in it. If you see it contains email service, it contains uh, checkout service and it contains a uh, a shopping cart, a, a recommendation service and etc. So this is a simple application uh, which I'm uh, deploying it on the cluster. So if you see this, uh, so <coughs> uh, I applied a cube, a cube CTL and I deployed uh, the service. If you see the service got created and if you check the pods, so the pods are still not up and running so so here uh, the pods are up and running okay if you see this the pods are up and running and uh, 
here I'm trying to uh, install or uh, inject uh, Istio onto the pods so this if you see uh, the pods the, the pod contains just a uh, one single uh, image and there is no uh, invoice proxy attached to it so if you want to attach an invoice proxy manually you can uh, do it by a command which is kubectl label namespace default in sto injection equals to enable if you enable it and uh, it will automatically uh, create a sidecar container or a invoice proxy which and it will be attached uh, to your pod so once if you do that and uh, once after if you do it manually uh, then what you need to do is here I'm uh, deleting my deployment so this uh, this command cube uh, kubectl delete uh, will delete the deployment and after that I'm again reinstalling uh, the application and now it will contain like two parts so for the first part is the service uh, which I uh, originally deployed and the second one is the sidecar container or the invite proxy that's uh, attached to the the pod so this is the thing now that we have deployed our application so let's see the services okay so these are the services which we have recently deployed and if you see the pods So these are the services so now what we'll try to do is let's try to uh, access of let's try to do port forwarding and let's try to hit the front end let's do let's see how we'll do it port forward front end front end and this is on port 80 right so let's try to access our front-end application UI if you open a new tab and if you try to hit it okay all right so this this is our application which contains a uh, different microservice you have a shopping cart and you have a you have like a couple uh, images for shopping and you can select it you can add to cart and you can order it okay so this is uh, this is just a sample a simple application which I have deployed now that we have Istio components running in the cluster that automatically injects the invoice proxy contains into every pod that we created in a default namespace we have all the configurations already set up and that's great Istio automatically collects the matrix from the proxy containers so you have all the data about how your microservices are performing what kind of requests they are getting the matrix data and so on but we don't see any of this here right now we do not have uh, data visualization uh, configured or set up on our cluster so let's do let's see how we can do that so if you go to CD, let me just do LS. So okay, so if you uh, in in samples folder, you should be having an add-ons. Let let me go to sample. So here, if you see, uh, there is Grafana, Jaeger, Kiali, Loki, and Prometheus so we're gonna uh, these are the uh, data uh, visualization tools so we'll try to uh, install all all of them and we'll see how uh, how it performs with Istio okay so now let's uh, try to deploy them So if you uh, so if you want to uh, just uh, install them uh, singly or independently, you can just do like uh, Grafana, 
dot yaml so all these are uh, the yaml files so you can uh, install or deploy those yaml files uh, individually but now i'm uh, deploying all of them at once okay you see here uh, a bunch of stuff got deployed so if you see uh, all our pods uh, got deployed so you have grafana jaeger kelly and prometheus so if you see the if you check for the service okay so these are the services so now let's try to uh, access one of uh, each of them by doing port forwarding first let's uh, try with kali which is on port uh, 2001 okay so you can ac access kali with this guy so if you see here you have like uh, 12 12 applications uh, already uh, been deployed so basically uh, Kali is an open source observability tool for Istio service mesh it provides a graphical interface for visualizing the structure of the service mesh displaying the traffic flow I'm gonna show show this uh, show all, show this to you in a bit, and if you go to overview and if you go to graph, so these are this is the structural uh, overview of the service, and if you see, so this is uh, the, the the this is the uh, it's gonna trace the traffic, okay? So which service the traffic is going, and so you can find it out from here. So this is the request traffic and you can find it from here. So now let's get into this. And now that we have seen a uh, Kali, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, create, I'm gonna take a duplicate of this. Let's go with bash. kubectl get service. Okay, so now uh, we'll, we'll now now we'll try to uh, get into Prometheus and see how it works. Let's try to do port forwarding. Port forward service Prometheus Prometheus, and this is on port nine zero nine zero iPhone N. STL system. All right, so let's try to grab this. All right, so this uh, Prometheus is an Prometheus is used to monitor and alert. Uh, it is a monitoring and an alerting toolkit that is widely used for collecting and storing time series data. It's uh, Practically popular in Kubernetes environment, Prometheus can uh, scrap matrix from various sources, right? So let's see if you go to status and if you go to configure. So this is your uh, config. And if you try to go to targets, so here you have like multiple pods. Uh, multiple nodes that it's gonna trace out the data we jump in and let's quickly go to uh, Grafana Let's try to log in. The password that I'm using is admin 
uh, the user I'm using is admin and the password is admin123. 123, let's get in. Okay, now that I'm, I have logged in to my Grafana uh, dashboard and you can see here like there are a couple uh, dashboards that are created Istio workload dashboard, surface mesh dashboard and a control plane dashboard if you see this. So this is the incoming and outgoing traffic rate and this is from the default namespace and workload if you want to uh, check the front end so this is the request duration and you can just uh, try to this is the incoming traffic request and if you want to see the service mesh so these are the services and these are the requests and this is the latency so this is the proxy uh, re this is the proxy resource uh, resource usage for and the CPU usage you can see it here so in this way uh, you can configure it and if you see the uh, client client request and the server request you see the client success rate and all the stuff here so this is how this is a, a pretty much basic uh, setup or configuration that I have uh, shown you guys so please uh, do practice and let me know if you have any questions please let uh, please comment in the comment section and I'll try to answer my best and thanks for watching and please uh, try to like share and subscribe uh, my videos and uh, in the next video I'll be back with a new topic and thanks for watching thank you